The White House keeps a close watch on North Korea. In fact, this weekend, that country appearing to up the stakes again, promising to retaliate against any country that imposes sanctions ordered by the U.N. North Korea's new young leader also convening his team, prompting spy satellites to be launched tonight. And so we turn to ABC's Gloria Riviera in Seoul, South Korea. Gloria. Good evening, David. South Koreans are concerned tonight after North Korea singled this country out, vowing to take action against the people here if South Koreans support the U.S.-backed sanctions now being put into place. According to North Korea's Central News Agency, leader Kim Jong-un recently met with top military officials to discuss, quote, retaliation against both the U.S. and South Korea if they help confiscate much-needed goods and supplies before they reach the North. That's just one part of the U.N. sanctions against North Korea, punishment for its most recent long-range rocket launch and its plans to conduct a third nuclear test. In a sign North Korea's threats to the region and beyond are being taken seriously, Japan today sent two new spy satellites into orbit to monitor North Korean actions. The latest spy imagery of the Pungeri site indicate a test could take place on short notice. American officials believe North Korea's goal is to test a nuclear weapon small enough to be mounted on a long-range rocket that might be able to strike U.S. territory. Even North Korea's strongest ally, China, is urging restraint. China says it will cut food assistance if North Korea carries out another test. The concern is that North Korea will pursue weapons development at any cost, even the well-being of its own people.